Peace everybody back with another video. This is Jerry Stiller, comedian and Seinfeld actor, dies at 92. Now I had no idea he passed away. I really didn't, had no idea at all. Comedian veteran Jerry Stiller who launched his career opposite wife Anne Mar Maria in the 1950s and re-emerged four decades later in the Historically high strong Frank Costanza on the smash television show Seinfeld dies at 92. His son Ben Stiller announced Monday. So Jerry Stiller um, passed away today at the age of 92. Um, his son Ben Stiller announced this today. Um, he, of course, his wife Anne M Miria. In the 1950s, I do believe was an, was his wife. Um, but of course, I know she's going through a lot of heartbreak right now because her husband had passed away. He died of natural causes. His son, a com comedy star himself, said in a tweet. Yeah, so his son, Ben Stiller, said that he died of natural causes. So that means he didn't have to go to the hospital and then find out, oh, well, it was C-19. No, because comedians know the truth. And you can't avoid the truth from the comedians. Um, so that's what his son said in a tweet, that um, he died of natural causes. Jerry Stiller was a multi-talented performer who appeared in an S torment of movies, playing Walter Matthews' police sidekick in the thriller The Taking of Belham 123 and Divine's husband Wilbur Turnblad in John Waters' twisted comedy Hairspray. And I love that movie Hairspray so much. Um, of course, yes, Jerry Stiller... Stiller was a multi-talented performer who appeared in an assortment of movies playing Walter Matthau's police sidekick. Um, of course, The Taking of Balham, One, Two, Three, and Divine's husband, Wilbur Turnblad, and John Waters' twisted comedy, Hairspray. And you cannot forget that movie ever, Hairspray. I do have a um, DVD that's Hairspray, but it's a different actor in there with John Travolta. But this one, this is the original Hairspray that Jerry Stiller was in. <laughs> he also wrote an autobiography, Married to Laughter, about his 50-plus year marriage to soulmate and comedic um, Cord Maria, Mar Mira, who died in 2015, and his my raid television spots include everything from Murder, She Wrote to Law and Order, along with 36 appearances alongside Miria on the Ed Sullivan Show. Yes, yeah, so he wrote in his autobiography, um, it was called Married to Laughter, about his 50-plus year marriage to his soulmate in comedic court, Mar Maria. Stiller, although a supporting player on Seinfeld, created some of the Emmy-winning show's most enduring moments. Co-creator and model for the Bro, a brazier for men, a Korean war cook who inflicted food poisoning on his entire unit, an ever-simmering salesman controlling his explosive temper with the shouted man, Mantra, Ser serenity now. Yes, yeah, so a Stiller, although a supporting player on Seinfeld, of course, and he was on, he um, created some of the Emmy winning shows, Most Enduring Moments. And of course, he was in other shows or in movies as well. Stiller earned a 1997 Emmy nomination for his indelible. Seinfeld performance in a 2005 Esquire interview. Stiller recalled that he was out of work and not the first choice of the role of Frank Costanza, father to Jason Alexander's neurotic George. So yeah, so 
Jerry Stiller plays the father of Jason Alexander. Um, neurotic George uh, still recalled that he was out of work. This is what his son was saying. That still recalled that he was out of work and not the first choice for the role. So he really wasn't the first choice of the role to play Frank Costanza. My manager had retired, he said. I was close to 70 years old and had nowhere to go. So his manager retired. Okay, and um, he, and he also said that he was close to seventy years old and had nowhere to go. And you know, it was sad, and it's sad that move our comedians are having a hard time looking for work right now because of all this crazy mess that's going on. But he, this is what he said that he had nowhere to go. He was initially told to play the role as a mal husband with an overbearing wife, Estelle, played by Estelle Harris. But the character wasn't working until Stiller suggested his reincarnation as an over-the-top crank who matched his wife's scream for screams. So, yeah, so he was initially told to play a role as a mal Coitos husband and an overbearing wife Estelle playing played by Estelle Harris herself. But um he's but it wasn't working until Stiller suggested his reincarnation as an over the top crank who matched his wife's scream for scream. It jump started the spectation career landing him a spot playing Vince Lombardi in a Nike commercial in the role of another over-the-top dad on the long-running sitcom King of Queens. So, yeah, so that's what he's um doing. That's what he did. Um, It, it jump-started the sept Terrangian's career. And um, Vince Lombardi, in a, and also he played a spot playing Vince Lombardi in a Nike commercial. Um, And also the long-running sitcom king of queens and here's ben stiller's um twitter account with the picture of his father jerry stiller himself who had passed away at 92 uh, and this is what he wrote over here as you can see what what his son ben stiller had wrote um, he says, I'm sad to say that my father, Jerry Stiller, passed away from neural, natural causes. I'm sorry. He was a great dad and grandfather and the most dedicated husband to Anne for about 62 years. He will be greatly missed. Love you, Dad. So that's what his son wrote on his Twitter account. And of course, providing the picture of his father as well. While he was known as a nut job father on the small screen, Stiller and wife Miria raised two children in their longtime home on Manhattan's Upper West Side. Daughter Amy, who became an actress, and son Ben, who became a writer, director, and actor in such films as Dodgeball. There's something about Mary and Meet the Parents. So, yes, yeah, so that's what Ben Stiller, he became a writer. Act, director and actor all at all in one and of course the films such as dodgeball there's something about mary and meet the parents so that's what it was that ben stiller had done um, while he was known as a nut job father on the small screen stiller and his wife maria raised two children of course amy and their son ben stiller he and Ben performed together in Shushine, which was nominated for a 1988 Academy Award in the Shot Subject Court category. So, yeah, so they both won, got a, nominated for a 1988 Academy Award in the Short Subject Court category for Shushine. Stiller was constant. Still barely quieter and reflective in person than in character, although just as funny, the son of a bus driver and a housewife, Stiller grew up in depression 
era Brooklyn. His in inspiration to enter show business came at age eight when his father took him to see the Marx Brothers in the comedy classic A Night at the Opera. And you know what? The Marx Brothers were funny back in the day and they're still funny now. If you ever happen to watch the, not the um, Marx Brothers, because they are funny. It's still a classic today. It doesn't matter how old you are. Um, Stiller was constantly quieter and reflective in person than in character, although just as funny. Um, his son, the son of a bus driver and a housewife, still grew up in Depression era Brooklyn. So that's where um, Jerry Stiller grew up in Depression era Brooklyn. His inspiration to enter show business came at age eight when his father took him to see the Marx Brothers. And of course, there was a comedy classic called A Night at the Opera. Years later, Stilly met Groucho Marx and thanked him. Yeah, so Stilly got to meet Mar Groucho Marx and thanked him. Stilly earned a drama degree at Syracuse University after serving in World War II and then headed to New York City to launch his career. There was a brief involvement in Shakespearean theater, including a $55 a week job with Jack Klug Klugman in Cor Corolonis, I don't know. So Stiller did earn a degree, a drama degree at the Syracuse University, all right, and after serving in World War II and then headed to New York City to launch his career. So after he got out of World War II, he went straight to New York City to launch his career. But his wife and career took off after he met Maria in spring 1953. They were married that fall. Yeah, so in fall during that year, they got married before he before he started his career and his life. The seemingly must mismatched pair, he a short, stocky Jewish guy from Brooklyn, she a tall Irish Catholic from the Long Island suburbs, shared an immediate onstage chemistry too. They were soon appearing on the Ed Sullivan Show and working nightclubs nationwide. Yeah, so Ben Stiller, or not Ben Stiller, Stiller, sorry, wrong person. Jerry Stiller was a, a short, stocky Jewish guy from Brock, Brooklyn, and um, his wife, she was a tall Irish Catholic from the Long Island suburbs. So, but even though it was a mismatch, but still they loved each other. They got married. They had two children, and so, and of course they were soon appearing on the Ed Sullivan Show and working nightclubs nationwide. So that's when the career started after they got married. The pair also wrote and performed radio commercials, most memorably a series of bits for a little-known wine called Blue Nun. The duel's ads boosted sales by 500%. Ben still recalled trips when his sister, with his sister to California when his parents would head west to do television appearances. You know, so Ben Stiller and his sister, they were going to California because his parents were on their way to California as well. So the whole family moved to California to start their career. The couple went on to appear as a team in dozens of films, stage and television productions. One of them was After Play, a 1995 off-Broadway show written by Miria Stiller joined Seinfeld in 1930, or 1993, I'm sorry, and moved on to King of Queens when the other Jerry and Company went off the air in 1998. The following year, he appeared in Ben Stiller's spoof on modeling Zoolander. You know, so the couple went on to appear in, as a team in dozens of film, stage, and television productions. One of them was After Play. It was a 1995 off-Broadway show written by Miria. Um, still joined Seinfeld in 1993 and then moved on to King of Queens. 
when the other Jerry, in other words, Jerry Seinfeld and company went off the air in 1998. So after 1998, when Jerry Seinfeld went off, went, went off the air, Jerry Stiller would go to the King of Queens. And, um, and of course, now that he's not suffering anymore, my heart, my condolences go out to Ben Stiller and his sister Amy and his wife. Um, may they find peace in their hearts and closing after. Leave your comments below. I am out.